Hello, this is Cafe, country music singer, inspirational speaker. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys a proper protocol of what to do when you get pulled over. Most of the times when we get pulled over, it's a surprise. We're not used to it. It's not something that happens every day. I'm going to give you some simple things that are going to help it be a safer situation for both the police officer and for you as a civilian. Um, you're already pulled over right now. One of the first things that I do whenever I got pulled over, I wanted to make sure that my car was completely turned off. The radio is all the way down, that I'm facing forward. Both of my hands are here with my fingers out with my fingers out. Get your wallet, please. I'm reaching so, for my wallet. Great. This awesome actor here, Pat, uh, Patrick, as the cop is approaching, you have to realize he doesn't know what's coming. Follow me, Kenny. But as he's walking up to the car, if he's able to see both of your hands, that's safer for him. What it does, it takes his adrenaline down because he knows that as he surveys to see if there's multiple people in the car, there's one person, both hands are here, his safety is already in better hands than what it was. Do not sit on your wallet. Do not sit on your wallet, number one, do not sit. You want to have your wallet either in the side of your door, cup holder, or at the front of your dash. You have to have your ID pulled out before the cop gets there. Because if you're reaching down, as he walks up, you could be pulling a weapon, which is going to compromise his safety, which is going to make his adrenaline go up. Listen to what I'm saying. If you already have your ID on the dash, you have your hands here. As the policeman walks up, he's going to have a view here, license and registration. Patrick is going to say my license and my and my registration or my CHL concealed handgun license is on my dash. I am reaching for it. Patrick, slow and steady reach for your license. My license is on my dash and so is my registration. It's here. There. And I other hand on the wheel, fingers out. Done. And that's how you hand it over. Because at the end of the day, the policeman wants to go home safely. We want to get home safely. Even if the cop is having a bad day, you have to go home. You gotta make it home. You're needed. This is a big deal. The cop has your information. You're still here. Radio is off. The car's completely off. Hands here, fingers extended. Say that your wallet is on the right hand side behind your back. Reach for your wallet. Reach for your wallet. That look now, from this angle, he could be pulling a weapon. It's just the appearance. The Bible says stay away from the appearance of evil. This is what we want to do. We want to give the devil no place. So if he's pulling here, it's the same place as if you would have a gun. So if he's pulling here, that's the danger of actually opening up yourself to saying, I may have a weapon to pull something on you. If it's here, hands on the dash, fingers exposed, it's a much safer place to go. Point number two, if you're actually on the highway, how do you pull over? If you see the blue, blue and red lights behind you, you put your blinker on, go as far to the right of the highway as you can, slow your car down to 15 to 20 miles per hour. If there's no place to pull over on the shoulder, take the first exit. On the first exit, get over to the shoulder, turn your car off, turn your radio down, ID on the dash, fingers out, hands extended. Guys, listen, this is about going home. There is a big disconnect because at the end of the day, it's about stereotypes. The stereotypes that I've seen of policemen was the video from Rodney King. And a lot of stereotypes that they see of African-American men are not positive. We've been there. We've all seen it. And guess what? I want to break the wall down between what we really don't know about each other to what we can learn from each other. So let's make a, ser a simple protocol that can get you guys home safer on the police side and on our side. God bless you. I wish you the best. Uh, Slim, get in here. Patrick, get in here. Um, we care about you. We care about us. We also care about the blue that's protected me. I've been lucky enough as a country singer to have some of the best policemen work security for me. I want those guys to go home safe as much as I want you to go home safe as well. So thank you, Kenny Jackson, for filming this. God bless you, and please share this video. Have the best day.